places ever for a class field trip. The Crayola Experience in Eastern Pennsylvania. Everybody in my class uses Crayola markers and crayons. Well, wait to see what we get to make inside the Crayola Experience. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> There's hundreds and thousands and millions of crayons here in all sorts of different colors. I have so many favorite colors. What's yours? I love sky blue. I love plum. I love yellow. And oh, what's that? I see something really cool over there. <gasps> this crayon is huge and golden. I want this one. <laughs> Not so fast, Ellie Sparkles. That's not just any crayon, it's me giant golden crayon. <laughs> it's me greatest pirate treasure ever, and you can't have it. <laughs> There's only one way to get me golden pirate treasure. You have to get all the way to the tippy top of the color meter. But don't get your hopes up. No one's ever gotten to the top of the color meter, and no one ever will. <laughs> I bet we will, boys and girls. If there's any place to fill up a color meter, it's here at Crayola, the most colorful place on the planet. Let's do all the games and activities and win that golden crayon. Give me a big thumbs up if you're excited to get started. <laughs> Let's go! There's so many art stations here at Crayola Experience that lets you use crayons in many different ways. Like this right here. This is a crayon melter. That means there's hot crayon wax inside that's all melted. Oh, <gasps> whoa! One of the coolest things about the Crayola Experience is its color playground. It's the hugest and tallest playground ever. It's two stories tall. That's like the size of a house. And did you know a secret that I heard? There's some Crayola marker surprises inside and I can't wait to find them. I love markers. Let's go. Oh, so Ellie Sparkles wants to find all the secret markers before I do? That won't happen. I'm the best secret marker treasure hunter the land has ever seen. Watch out, secret markers. Here comes Mr. Pirate. Secret markers must be in here somewhere. I'm gonna find them. <gasps> Look over there, everyone. It's a bridge. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to climb it. <laughs> Whoa! Look, everyone. Another marker. I'm getting really What's over here? Ooh, where are these secret markers anyway? I hope I find a glitter one. <laughs> Look everyone, I found a tunnel! A third marker! Amazing! <laughs> Woohoo! That was one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever been in! And look everyone, we have our hidden markers! We have one marker, two markers, three markers, four markers, and five markers! The color meter should be all the way to the top now, right? Let's check it out! Nice! 
We're almost at the top, but not yet. Lucky for us, there's still so many things to do here. <laughs> Look out below! <laughs> hey, Sparkles found all the secret markers before I did. And even worse, she's almost at the top of the color meter. I can't let that happen. I have to stop her or else she'll get all me pirate treasure. You think that's good, Ellie Sparkles? Ha! I could do way better. I'll show you the greatest wax hand ever made. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh no, me hook, not me pirate hook. I meant to put me good pirate hand with all five <laughs> fingers, but I put my hook in. <laughs> You're so silly, Mr. Pirate. I bet I'm at the top of the color meter now. <laughs> Charlie Sparkles, not even close! Oh, <laughs> Face no. it, you'll never get to the top of the color meter. It's impossible! Another really cool thing about the Crayola experience is being able to label and make your own crayon. Wow. I have my crayon here. It's this beautiful red color. And I even made my own label. Ooh. There's a heart on it and it says Ellie Sparkles! Now we have the label and we have the crayon. Now it's time to put them together. Let me show you how to do that. One, two, three. <gasps> and there we have it. My very own Ellie Sparkles pink crayon. <laughs> yeah, not so fast, Ellie Sparkles. Since you like making crayons so much, I got you something. A whole cup of crayons to wrap. But wait, there's something you should know. <laughs> you have to wrap all those crayons before I finish eating me pirate pizza. <laughs> and if you don't, you'll never get me golden crayon. Oh no, but it's gonna be so hard. There's so many crayons in here. This is gonna be the easiest race ever for me. <laughs> okay, Ellie, you start wrapping your crayons and I'll eat me pirate pizza. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Oh, she'll never wrap these in time. <laughs> I sure hope the pirate isn't finished with this pirate pizza. <laughs> you know what goes the best with pirate pizza? Gold coins. <gasps> Quick, we gotta get back to the pirate to see if we won. We finished dropping all the crayons. <laughs> One last bite and I win. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Mr. Pirate, Mr. Pirate, I did it. I wrapped all the pink crayons. I had so much fun doing it, too. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you may have wrapped all your crayons in time, but you'll still never get to the top of the color meter. <gasps> yes! I did it! No way, Eddie Sparkles. No one's ever gotten to the top of the color meter before. Oh, that man. means I get the golden crayon, right? I guess you get me golden crayon treasure. 
Bye, Golden Crayon. I miss you. Thank you, Mr. Pirate. Don't be sad. I got you something special just to make you feel better. Hmm? My Lux hand. Oh, that's so nice. It's colorful and a little bit sparkly. I like sparkly things. <laughs> oh. This is the biggest crayon I've ever seen. It's awesome. Whoa. This factory is bigger and cooler than I thought it would be. Whoa. And look. There's somebody over there to help us. Hi, Dan. I'm Ellie Sparkles. Okay, so I have a really huge question. Okay. What are crayons made out of, and how do we start making them? Okay, so crayons are made out of three ingredients. The first ingredient that we use is something called paraffin wax. Then what we add in next is the clay. And then the last thing we add are all the colors that you see when you open up your box of crayons, and those are called pigments. So this is actually a crayon before it goes through anything else Whoa. that you see. And what we do is we take about 50 to 60 of these blocks, and we put it back here in our kettle. The kettle heats it up to about 170 degrees wow. and makes it really, really hot. Wow, that's super hot. Hey, look, there's some melted wax coming out down below. Check it out. How do we make it into a red crayon? You can see right there before I pour it back onto the table, it turns it into this liquidy substance. That looks like that, tomato soup. Exactly. And it, that's what's actually going to become our crayons. Nice! So then I take that and I pour it back onto this table. Whoa! It looks like hot lava from a volcano! Wow, that is so cool! It's like a river of melted wax! I'll call it Crayola River! Yeah. Looks like it's done! And then just to make sure that we got all the holes filled with the wax, I take this metal scraper here, and I just press down on the table, just to double check, make sure that we got all those holes filled with wax. Amazing. Now that Dan's poured all the hot wax, we have to let it cool now. And when it cools down, we're gonna get a whole bunch of crayons. <laughs> Now that the wax has dried, we have to scrape off the excess. Wow, it's just like a bulldozer. I never knew they made crayons all at once like this. Okay, so we put that on here, we line it up like that. And then we got crayons. We got crayons! <laughs> so that's what they all look like there. Oh, wow. They're also already pointy. Yep, so they already have their, their tips on them, and the reason being is um, that's actually how they're made during the molding process. At the bottom of the table, there's a little cone shape, and oh, that's what cool. actually makes uh, the crayons get their points. Now we have some shiny new crayons. Now what do we do with them? So, what we do now is after we dump them out and onto the inspection table, uh, what we do here is we basically just inspect the crayons, so that we take out any ones that are broken, that come out broken like that, um, anything that doesn't have a full crayon, missing a tip, and we just take the broken, broken ones out, the ones that aren't good, because we don't want you guys opening up your box of crayons and having broken crayons. That wouldn't be fun for anyone, right? No, okay. not at all. After the crayons pass inspection, they come over here to the labeling machine where we got a few things going on, okay? Look, they're all coming out. Yep, so they come out here and then they work their way down the conveyor belt to over here. Whoa. Where, as you can see. They're all wrapped we up. We got our crayons already wrapped up. That was super duper easy. Yep. So we've labeled some of our crayons, but usually I get my crayons in a box. How do we do that? So after we label them, then we have to package them, okay? Mm -hmm. So we got four colors here that we're gonna package today. We got our red, our blue, a green, and then macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Look, those are those red crayons that we just made. They're looking for a new home. A Crayola crayon box, of course. And there's our red crayons friends. Yellow, green, and blue. Bye, crayons. See you in the box. Did you see that? Our crayons made it into the box. We did it, everyone. We made a box of Crayola crayons. I can't wait to go back to school and tell everybody how 
I found out how crayons are made. <laughs> now I have plenty of school supplies. <laughs> if you want to see how crayons are made yourself, make sure you head on over to the Crayola Experience in Easton, Pennsylvania. <laughs>